Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to use layers and a clip mask on Procreate. If you like the video, please subscribe for more. Okay, let's get started. On the top right of your screen, there is an icon with two little squares. There's where you'll find your layers. When you open a new canvas, you'll have only one layer. So let's pick a brush. Click on the brush icon on top of the screen. On the left of the brush library, I picked painting and then round brush. On the left of the screen, you can choose the brush size. So if you want a thicken or a thicker or a thinner stroke. I picked a size somewhere in the middle, tried out and adjusted a bit. Lately, I've been practicing my calligraphy, so I chose to write the letter M. No specific reason for that, I just like its shape. If you make a mistake, tap once on the screen with two fingers to undo the last paint stroke. Also, you can pinch the canvas to make it smaller or bigger. Now, I wanted to change the color of my letter, so I clicked on the circle icon on the top right corner, picked a color, clicked again on the same circle icon and dragged the color to the M. I did that twice to cover the old letter with the new color. And now the fun part. I want to create a sort of 3D effect and for that I will use some darker and lighter shades of the same color I used for the leather. I clicked on the layers icon then clicked on the plus on the top right corner to add a new layer, in this case layer number 2. Then I clicked on the left square of that layer number 2 and chose clipping mask. I picked a darker shade of the blue I used for the M. I clicked on the brush library and picked airbrushing and then soft brush. So now I'm working on layer 2, which is on top of layer 1. So the color that I'm applying will not blend with the color I applied on layer 1. The clipping mask I chose connects layer 2 to the below layer 1. And it allows me to draw only on the letter M on layer 1. So I'm slowly coloring the edges of the M with this darker shade and as you can see, because I used the clipping mask, the brush will color only on the M and not on the white back background. Once I'm done with the darker shade, I will repeat the same process with the lighter shade. You want to go back to the center of the wheel color and drag your pen until you find the tone you're looking for. I'm going back to the layers, click on plus to create layer number 3, then click on the same la layer and choose the clipping mask. Now this layer 3 is on top of both layer 1 and 2. I made my brush a bit thinner because I want to draw mostly in the middle of the letter. Adding here some of the lighter shade to simulate the light that will hit the letter if it was a real 3D object. After this, I decided to add some color to the background. When you open your layers, the very first one on the bottom is your background. And you can change its color by clicking on it. And then of course clicking on the wheel color. The fun and very useful thing is that you can see the color changing in real time, so you can pick whichever seems more suitable for you. As you can see, I played around a bit with colors and then I ended up going for a similar color I used for my leather but in a much darker shade. Once I picked the color for my background, I wanted to create some sort of a shadow on the bottom of my M. So I clicked on the layer icon, clicked on plus and created layer number 4. Then I clicked on this layer and dragged it on the bottom under layer number 1. I picked a much lighter shade of the color I used for the background, made sure I still had my airbrushing soft brush, made it thicker and colored my M. Because I'm working on a layer, in this case number 4, a layer located on the bottom of all other layers, I cannot draw or paint on top of whatever was painted on the other layers. And that allows me to create the shadow effect without ruining the drawing I've done so far, creating an effect as if the letter M was floating and making it pop.
and that's it for today hope this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions please write them in the comments and i'll make sure to answer as soon as possible if you like the video please subscribe for more thanks for watching and see you soon